Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today we're going to go over how to build a home lab using cloud services on Azure. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. All right, so let's get right to it. Come and follow me along, along the journey. Let's talk about cloud services and how to do it for free. All right. All right, guys. So yeah, so I, I already have, I'm already logged in and everything. Um, you have to create an account. You have to put your email address, your street address, all that, the whole nine yards. I'll go over that. I'll put this video here somewhere and show you what I did. Once you log in 100%, you have to go to this website first, obviously Microsoft or azure.microsoft.com, free. I'll leave below in the description. Once you log into that, you'll have this screen right over here. I created an Azure subscription as I was just testing and playing around with it, but this is what I need you to do. Today, we're going to do two things. We're going to create a server 2019 VM a windows 10 pc windows 10 vm um and then um, we're going to rename the server to whatever we wanted to re rename it to um and then that's it just just simple things today nothing crazy uh next week we're gonna have part two part three i'm gonna break this into parts because i don't want to go i don't want to make a long video and then you don't understand what the hell i'm doing right so baby steps right if you don't know what if you don't know fundamentals and Go, go study or go look at CompTIA A plus stuff or look at fundamentals on operating system or in cloud services and you come back to this, this these home lab videos. So this is going to be my home labs for 2023 using Microsoft Azure services. If your computer is really slow, if you have a really bad computer, you could do it on the cloud. Okay. And obviously this is Windows 10. This is not Mac. It looks totally different on a Mac machine. You may need to download REP. RDP from the Apple Store in order to get RDP to work. So just FYI, this is a Windows machine, not a Mac machine. So if you if you message me saying, oh, I can't get into it, and I ask you, are you using a Mac machine? Yeah, I'm using a Mac machine. This is a Mac, not Mac. This is Windows, okay? So just to throw that out there because I made a home lab video from a couple years ago, and people are doing this on a doing that on a on a Linux machine on a Zen OS or Ubuntu or some weird operating system that. I'm using Windows 10, not using something else, okay? All right, so let's get started real quick. Sorry, I had to like vent a little bit. All right, so um, let's go to virtual machines. Um, we're going to do create virtual machines, create your virtual machines. And this is pretty pretty fast, pretty seamless. It's not going to take too long today. Um, you want to create a resource group. What is a resource group? Re resource group is a collection of resources that share the same lifecycle permissions and policies. So we're going to create a resource group called Home Lab, and then we're going to add Server 2019. And we're going to add Windows 10 on the same one and put them together, if that makes sense. Because they're able to talk to each other. I want them to be on the same network. Otherwise, i got to do these crazy network network things on the back end or on the actual Microsoft Porto itself. I'm not going to do that today. That will be too complicated for you. So we're going to do one. We're going to call it Home Lab. I already have it here, if you, as you can see. It's right here. And I'm going to call this Server 2019. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to Server 2019. It's going to ask me which one do I want. I want the highest one. So I'm going to click. I'm going to leave this one alone as the default one. I'm going to use help desk as the account here. You can call it whatever you want. You can't call it administrator. If you call it administrator, it's going to give you an error message. It's going to say, I don't like that, that, that name. Just FYI, just so you're aware. All right. So I'm doing that real quick. Now it says, do you want RDP in allowed? RDP is 3389. This is why you just point that you know about your protocols, TCP, IP, DNS, DHCP, um, FTP, uh, SMTP, et cetera, et cetera. Those ports are important because otherwise you wouldn't understand what's going on over here. So RDP obviously is remote desktop protocol. It's the application that we use to remote into a machine. Um, if you go into computer management, in some cases you may need to be part of remote desktop users, uh, which is right over here. Remote desktop users, the members is in this group are granted the right to log in remotely. So you may have to add someone to that group. Obviously you get permissions for that. And it has to be on the local machine. You never give them remote access to a server. We don't do that. All right, just FYI. So this is all. This looks fine and dandy. We're gonna do review and create. And close out of that. And we do create. And it looks like it's working because if you get a validation pass, that means it's like okay, all the settings you put, all the stuff you put looks good to me. You're allowed. To, you're allowed to create this. You're allowed to create this VM. Uh, we don't care. It looks like looks like it's good to go. So we're going to start to create that VM for you. That's basically what's going on over here. All right. So I have one VM created. That is one. 
super duper easy and it's actually doing progress right here it's actually creating the little things here little by little if you see the settings right here it's creating everything for you next i'm gonna do is virtual machines again create which are virtual machine i'm gonna select the same one called home lab i'm gonna call it windows 10 all right because we're gonna use a windows 10 uh, os and this is what this is what, what this is what messed me up right here so this is what what messed me up so i try i'm, I'm gonna show you right now because i was messing around with this so I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna create the same account. All right. And I'm gonna do confirm, create, all right. You get this weird wonky error message, right? And I click view details. It doesn't like the region for some reason, so you gotta change the region. So this is what happened to me. So I went back to basics, um, and I went back to and change it to East US 2 and I did review and create right boom that worked so it doesn't like it doesn't like the region like the region was was US I had to change the US 2 for some reason I don't know why but it looks like that specific region does not support um not this sorry does not support the hardware configurations for that region which is why you got to change it to region two or US, East US two. So if you get an error message like that, what, like what I just got, that's how you fix it. Okay. And the review, um, and do create. Let, let, let that do its thing on the back end, right? Um, we're going to go home virtual machines. And we go to server 2019. So here you see like the whole thing, your whole settings, your public IP address, um, private IP address, your CPU, your RAM, you have 16 gigs of RAM, um, the operating system, the computer name, agent version, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Activity log, you could create an, you could create an, an activity log to see what the person is doing on this computer or on that VM. You could see here the health is okay, health is resolved, created a VM, the allocated virtual machine, deleted virtual machine, created, created or update virtual machine. Um, you have your access control, view my access, you give a certain amount of access to this if you want, it's entirely up to you. Dave is the owner. Um, so someone, this is like for someone logging in, like, do you want to give them owner access, contributor, reader? Um, I'm not going to go through all this, but this is basically what that is. Um, diagnose and solve problems. If you have some weird issues going on in your VM, networking, you could create a inbound, outbound rule. I'm not doing that for this today. You have con connect. Um, this is to remote into this machine, which we're going to do right now in a couple of minutes. Uh, disk. You could actually increase the disk size as needed if you need to. Uh, size, same thing. You could, you could update the memory or the RAM on this if you need to. Uh, Microsoft Defender Cloud. Um, this is like obviously Defender. Um, you know, just for malicious software and update. And you know, like if you put like obviously malware on the computer or whatever, you know, it's protection. Um, you know, locks. And uh, yeah, so based uh, also on backup, updates, inventory. The one that that, I, that you care about, like if you look at all this stuff, the one that you you care about is this one. So like if you ever forget your password, you could go ahead and reset. As long as you, you know your username, my, name, my username is helpdesk, you can come here and reset your password and then just hit update and it'll reset it for you. So this is the built-in uh, administrator account. You could reset the, the password for that user account. So in case you ever forget, because sometimes what happens is you forget the password, right? Um, you forget the password, and like, oh, snap, I forgot the password. Then you go and you go here and you just delete the whole VM and <laughs> start all over again. You wouldn't want to do that, right? That's crazy. We wouldn't want to do that. So, all right. So, what we're going to do is we are going to connect. Connect RDP. And download uh, RDP. And then we're going to click on that. And then we're going to hit connect. So, it's going to ask you for your password and help, username and password. is going to be the help desk one that we just created. You call it whatever you want, but I call it help desk. Uh, you hit yes, and it should let you in. All right, so we are good to go after that. Pretty seamless, not rocket science, as you can see. Um, just today, it's just creating VMs and making sure they're set up correctly. 
So this one's coming up right now. I'll give it a second. First thing, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do adjust date and time, because it drives me crazy. Because I'm, I'm, I'm actually based on EST time. Look, it thinks it's nine, nine thirty nine p.m. Hopefully that's not that late for me because I actually want to go jog today. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna go somewhere here and change it to EST time. There we go. I'm gonna close out of that. This is. Do you want like try manager services Windows administrator? I'm just familiar with browser. It runs on the server and PC. So this opens up every time, like this tab here opens up. Do you want to show this message again? Don't show this message again. You just close out of that. Um, you have your tab right over here. You have your notifications tab. This is managed. So it's like if you want to add roles and features and all that good stuff. You have your tools right over here. Yeah, if you could zoom in, zoom out, help. Local server, the computer name is server 2019, work group. Um, know that good information here. All servers, file storage if you want to create storage for sharing drives and stuff like that, which we will do real soon, but leave that alone for now. Okay, so we're going to close out of this. First thing I want to do is I want to rename this PC or rename the server so that we always rename the server through obviously through this PC, right click properties, right? Change settings, change, and we're going to call this DCMY-01, you call it whatever you want, I'm going to hit OK, and OK, close out of that, uh, restart now, I'm going to restart that bad boy real quick. So that should be coming up real soon. While we wait for that, let's go to the other VM. Let's go to, so you can't, you don't see it here. You just hit the refresh button. There we go. Hit Windows 10. Same thing. If you want to reset it, you can go in here and reset it. Uh, we're going to go here. Uh, we're going to hit connect, remote desktop. We're going to hit download. I'm going to hit that Windows 10 RDP. And it should let me in. Just give that a second. So today's all about just creating VMs, changing the, na the name of the PC, and that's it. Nothing crazy. Um, when I created the VM, I could have changed the name there. But I purposely chose not to change the name when you created the VM because I want to show you how to rename a PC. Because a lot of people that watch my videos are brand new to IT and they don't know how to do that. And a lot of times, I'm going to accept this. A lot of times if you're brand new to IT um, and you're building ma computers manually, like I'm talking about physically, manually from scratch. Sometimes you build a computer manually like a laptop or something like that. Some people do not know how to rename a PC, so I got to show you how to do that, if that makes sense. So I'm going to hit yes for that. It's the same thing. I adjust the date and time because it's driving me crazy. Um, let's give that a second. And I got to go back all the way back here. EST time. Close out of that. And I, I want to rename this PC to a desktop. Desktop 01, like I always do on my other lab videos, right? So I'm going to click on the little folder icon right here. And I'm going to go and right click properties. So it looks a little different. Like if you go to mine, like if I go to mine right here and if, if I go here and I right click this PC properties. Like before it, the, the, the actual Windows tab would pop up right there, Windows 10, whatever, because I'm on 20 H2, it's a little different, right? So got to keep that in mind with Windows as Windows 10 operating system changes like the, you have the navigation and everything will, will be a little different right so rename this PC change and we're gonna call it desktop 01 and hit OK and we're gonna do restart now so that should be good to go Go back to virtual machines, back to server, 
We go back to RDP. We're going to remote into that server real quick and just make sure that the name is correct. It should let me in. Do who am I? Who am I? Slash. It says right there actually. You see, it says it says DC MY01 question mark. Do who am I? F Q D N. She says that not, it's not on the domain or anything. So it's complaining about that. Who am I? User it says the user the user is helped us. The SID is right here, and there are DCNY01. The SID is right there. So like if you go into registry uh, users, it's right there. See right there, two a a two nine seven nine four 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 seven three four. You're wondering what is the SID? This is the SID is right here. So. Very interesting stuff. Like, if you know about Windows operating systems, you know how, you, you actually know what this means. So I, I get what this is, and I, I see that it came from here. If that makes sense. All right. So I'm gonna close out of that. I'm gonna close out of that. Um, I'm gonna sign out for now. We we should be good to go. Um, I'm gonna go back to virtual machines, and I'm gonna click on both of them at the same time, and I'm gonna just stop. I'm gonna do yes, stop. So now they're they're being stopped, so it's being stopped right now. So just give it a second. It's like, why are you stopping the services, Kev? I don't want to get charged for it. <laughs> so the last thing I want is to get charged for 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 a server that that is not you know that's because you you get you get billed for it. Obviously, I don't, I'm trying to avoid it. So I'm gonna stop again. She says deallocating. Deallocating. So the the deallocating is the means that it's not running right now. So I'm trying to avoid not to get paid or charged for Microsoft because they didn't charge your arm and the leg if you have your services running. So what I just did, I stopped it. So you go, just what you want to do. You want to stop it. So then we can go and do our home labs, like the rest of our home labs for the whole for this whole month. All right. So that's it. That's pretty much it for me. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day um, and have a good uh, Sunday. All right. Take care. Peace. Bye.